Welcome to the Butterfly Effect. I'm Chris Horner, and this is day one of Tour of Roman D 2021. It's the prologue. Lot different atmosphere when the riders are at the hotel today than most any other day before in 2021. The buildup from the early races is always exciting. It's the first races of the season. Then we get into the spring classics where it becomes really nervous. Energy's high at the hotel. Stress is high on the teams. We just finished the Liege, best on Liege. One day rest. Now at Tour Romandy, all the pressure from the spring classics is released and you can feel it as a rider when you're in a hotel. It's a much more relaxed atmosphere and certainly relaxed amongst the directors. If they didn't win during the spring, there's nothing they can fix now. The spring is over. They start looking for other races. The other objectives start quickly becoming the Giro or Tour de France that's coming up. Tour Romandie, fabulous race, excellent course. Weather could be disastrous at times and fantastic at others, so it could be all over the place. You never know what you're going to get, Romandy, but one thing's for certain, the directors know they can no longer win a spring, spring classic or they already have, so there's no reason to keep that stress level that everyone was feeling during those week or three weeks ago before Romandy starts. So it's a nice atmosphere for the riders when they're at the hotel. Racing is intense. Whenever you get into a bike race, especially Pro Tour, it's always intense. But the atmosphere before and after the races is completely different than anything they've felt before during 2021. For me personally, in 2006, I upset the atmosphere a little bit in the team because I brought my girlfriend. Happens to be my wife now, Megan. She was a professional rider racing for a Swiss team. I hadn't seen her for a couple months. It's also her birthday. And we were in Switzerland, of course, racing Romandy when I brought her to the hotel. I didn't ask for permission. I was 36 years old at the time, riding for Predictor Lotto. And I knew you don't want to ask for permission ahead of time. You just want to bring her and ask for a room. So when she came, I asked the team, can you get one more room for my girlfriend? We always have two directors, car one, car two, the two directors. One was okay with it, one was not. Finally, they discussed it amongst themselves. The wiser of the director said, hey, if we don't put her up in the hotel here, he's just going to drive down the street and waste more energy driving across town to see her. So we might as well. My argument was, guys, I've been in Europe for two, three months already, and I haven't seen my girlfriend in quite a long time. All the Belgian teammates on Predictor Lotto, of course, they're just coming from Belgium, and they've seen, her, they've seen their wives, their girlfriends, and significant others all the way up until this time. So they don't need to be here, but mine has to be here. They found her a room. She stayed at the hotel with us. Luckily, I won stage two, day three of Romandy in 2006 and took the race leader's jersey. From that moment on, my wife, Megan, who was my girlfriend then, was welcome at all the races. You could do no wrong. If Megan showed up, everything was fine because I won a stage and took the race leader's jersey here at Romandy. So it's a little special place in my heart here at Romandy. Switzerland in general has always treated me well. Today, when the action starts, Stefan Bissinger, EF Education, he starts off and he's in the hot seat, pulling a fabulous time there, riding from early in the, in the race all the way till mid-race in the hot seat. He's going to get beat though, and it's going to be by none other than Rowan Dennis. It's a four kilometer prologue course with a steep little kick at the finish, 700 meters, so you got to save a little bit of legs. Rowan Dennis is flying, guys. Catalonia, he won the time trial there. Immediately the next day, you saw him riding for other guys on the team. They weren't riding for him. I'm curious here to see with his particular form, and we all know he can climb. At moments, he can climb with the best. To me, I would imagine at this point in time in the season, this might be some of his best form. To win like he did today in such dominant style, I mean, wow, it's an impressive time that he put on everybody. But he put 10, 11 seconds on Stefan Bissinger, who was in the hot seat for most of the day. So that really set the tone for Ineos on today's stage because not only did they take first with Rowan Dennis, but they did second with Garrett Thomas and Richie Port tied for second there in third place. Three in the top three spots. And on top of that, Filippo Ghana, he's in the top 10 just to make the team that much stronger. Seven guys here, what we saw in Catalonia, we probably won't see here, I think, tomorrow in the next stage. 
They have Ghana. He can ride all day long, so he can fill the shoes that we saw at Catalonia from Rowan Dennis, where Rowan Dennis was just a workhorse riding all day long. Filippo Ghana could easily do it, Rowan Dennis. And then they got some backup guys there with Amador who can also ride the front. He's strong in the climbs. They got a fabulous team here that can do some damage and win the overall for sure in my book. Want to go back though and point something out. Sepp Kuss, the American rider, 13th on the stage. I mean, fabulous ride. Sepp Kuss is not a pure time trial specialist. When you see a climber ride like this in the time trial, you know he's on good form. When I raced in Romandy, I was always going about 15th, give or take, in the time trials. But climbing good and able to stay with the best riders in the world and win one of the stages. Now, I look and I see Sepp Kuss and I think we're about identical in types of, types of riders. He's a pure climber, but when he time trials like this and we saw today, he's going to put on a show throughout this week in Romandy. On top of that, I want to point out he's first on Jumbo Visma's team in inside today's stage. So he is their number one rider. This might be the first stage race that we get to see from the American where he's flat out the leader of the team and he's going to get his chance to win here at Romandy. But he's going to have to beat some amazing Ineos riders with three of them, first, second, and third right now on the podium. Want you to keep an eye on Michael Woods. I think Michael Woods and Sepp Kuss could have a little team team work there in between them. They're riding for different teams, of course, but I think on these climbing stages, we won't see it tomorrow. The third stage, the, the third day, second stage of racing is when we'll maybe see a collaboration set up there with Michael Woods. He's clearly riding good from his Liège, best on Liège, dominant performance there on the last climb and all the way into the finish. So in my book, looking further ahead, I think we see Michael Woods and we see Sepp Kuss doing a little combo there of trying to do some attacking against the Ineos riders. They got an amazing squad. I don't know if it can be done, but with Sepp Kuss's form and the way his legs look today, he's my guy to watch. Hope you guys like my take on the butterfly effect. Keep watching. Tour of Romandy, this is going to be an exciting race. It's going to be intense. The weather looks like it could turn bad. Everything the commentators were saying is that bad weather is on the horizon. I love watching a bike race in bad weather. When I won here, both times when I took the race leader's jersey in 2006 and 2007, it was raining and miserable days, freezing, can't feel your fingertips. That is what Roman D delivers. It always comes up with some exciting, intense racing. Not quite like the Basque Country, a little bit different and smoother in the attacks, not so explosive like we saw in the Basque Country, but the weather could be the deciding factor which can make this racing incredibly interested for us fans here on the couch watching Tour of Romandy. See you guys on stage one of Tour of Romandy. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you real soon on The Butterfly Effect.